Hi, this is Edie with Art by Edie. I will decoupage this really, really pretty shell today. I mean, it's it's really nice. So what I did first, um, these shells on this side kind of look like this. So I gesso sprayed the inside. Now you can use gesso paint. Um, I think the spray is faster and easier. Um, actually, it's my first time using it, so I will see how that turns out. Um, the next step is to pick a, a pattern from a napkin that you like. I will be using this. I think it's super cute. Now, what I learned from watching YouTube videos is this particular paper is a three ply. So you need to remove the backing and there should be three plies. Sometimes it comes with two plies. So this is one and I see the third one about to come off somewhere. Uh, and this is the second ply. Now just be gentle because this napkin is super, super thin. So you want to remove the, the nice printed part. Just throw this out. So you are left with this, which is really, really thin. And the reason being is because when you Mod Podge this on, um, it's really thin and it's easier for the Mod Podge to adhere to the shell. Um, because if it's too thick, it'll just be crinkly and bumpy. Um, and that's okay. I mean, if that's what you want, you can have some wrinkles and ridges. But I think it looks prettier with one ply. So I will apply the Mod Podge to the shell with just a, a regular brush. And I will be right back. Okay, so I am applying Mod Podge to the shell and you want a super, super thin coat and you do the inside. Anywhere you want this image of the napkin to stick really is where you apply. So that is what I am doing. And I'm making sure I have coverage everywhere. And we're just doing the ends of the shell here into the little creases, right? Because you want the napkin to stick in here too. Or if you don't, or if you're going for another look, then you do what, what you like. Okay, so I think we are good. Now you just even it all out, making sure it is nicely coated with a thin coat. Now here comes the tricky part, right? You want to apply this napkin so most of this image is on your shell, right? And if you you lose some areas of it, that's okay because, I mean, it's it'll be fine. So now you have to try to position it um, any way you like. Let me see if this way will work for me. I'm trying to get that cute little red bird in and the top of the duck's little hat. So I think I am okay with the way I laid it down. Okay, and just be, I mean, really, really gentle because this paper, this napkin, rips so easy. Hey, and if it rips, that's okay too. All right, that's part of the mojo of your, of your work. Okay, so. These shells, of course, have these little ridges. So what I do, I take the same brush and very gently, I kind of, see, smooth that out so it gets into the creases. I don't like the way that came out, so I just carefully lift it and I could just continue. And I think I have all the ridges. Okay, so now don't worry about the sides where the, the napkin does not lay because what I do is I apply a gold 
leaf to make it really, really pretty, but that will be towards the very end of this video because it has to dry completely, right? So I think I am okay here. Let me just do it one more time. Okay. And I'm gonna turn around the shell so you see I even got in inside as far as I could. Now you take a scissor. I do have a small scissor. I just don't know where I put it. I'm probably looking straight at it on my messy desk, but it, it is here. Um, because a little scissor is just more precise and accurate, but I'm gonna use this. So you cut the excess napkin off, right? For the shape, from the shape of the shell. Not too much, but just enough. Just be very careful, All right? And then we do this side. There you go. Just pat it down a little extra. And it is still a little tacky, and that is okay. Just wanna make sure this paper is adhere to the shell. There you go. Okay. So now I will let it dry for a couple minutes. Um, Mod Podge actually dries really fast. Just making sure, like I said, I got all the, the bubbles or the creases out. And if you don't, that is super okay too, because it's a shell. It's not smooth, right? It's it's a little rough, as some of us are around the edges. Okay, so I will let this set a little bit and dry, and I will come back to you guys. Look what I found. This is my tiny little scissor, which I purchased on Amazon. Well, my husband Stu did. I don't think he knows I put it on his account, but it doesn't matter. Um, this is it. And it, it wasn't like expensive. It was, I don't know, five, six dollars. So it just lets you get into a little bit more precise space than that big scissor that's really um, wide and just big. So now I will take a, um, you could take like a little sander, like a buffer or a, um, an actual nail file. And before I apply a second coat of Mod Podge, I like to file the edge off because then I could just brush on the Mod Podge all the way to the end so this napkin doesn't lift. Just did the edge. And this actually I got at Michael's. Um, I don't know what it's actually called. I think it's um, I think it's actually a, a distressor. Um, that could be it. So I have this. Now I apply my second coat of Mod Podge. And again, I use the same brush and I do a very thin coat. And so you go into the shell all the way to the edge and you make sure it is all the way to the edge. Make sure the napkin is sticking to the, to the shell. good. 
So you now let it dry. Uh, if I'm in a rush because I'm very impatient, I use a, um, a little blow dryer. Of course, on a, on a low setting, just this little con air I have, I have a low, low setting. And I will blow dry it a little bit and it will dry faster. But since I have to feed my puppies, I will allow this to dry while I do so and I will come right back to you. Okay, I am back. So I had left this to dry and it, it seems okay. Um, so what I would like to do is, instead of using the matte Mod Podge um, for my second coat, I like to do a, a gloss Mod Podge. Um, reason being is obviously it will be shiny, gloss Mod Podge. And I like the way it looks on, on the shell, especially with the gold um, leaf, liquid leaf around it. So I think it'll be cool. I That's the way I like it. You can use matte, whatever you like. It's all personal preference. So I will take the same brush. I washed it in water and I am opening up the gloss Mod Podge. And I do the same thing as I would with the matte. Put a thin layer on, go all the way up into the edges of the shell. This will leave a really nice um, shiny uh, finish. Make sure to get it everywhere because um, I like to call it a little trinket dish. So I usually put um, my rings when I wash the dishes or um, a bracelet I was wearing, a necklace. You could use it for any, anything actually. Um, dump some change from your pocket. Um, my husband uses it for some, some keys. He just throws in keys in here or, um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I mean, and anything. Okay, so I've applied my second coat of gloss. Um, you can apply a third if you want. I don't, but it's it's completely up to you. So now I let this dry a tiny bit. Um, this is the second coat of gloss Mod Podge that I have applied. And I don't know if you can tell, I think you can because I'm looking at the camera that, see how nice and glossy and shiny it is? I think it's really pretty. So what I do after it's dry, I mean, it could be a little tacky, it's okay. Um, the next thing around the edges, um, I apply, it's called Liquid Leaf. There it is. Um, I actually got this at um, my Hobby Lobby. It's not expensive, I think it's like $6. Um, and this lasts such a long time. The only thing I don't like about it is, um, the smell, it's a little, it has like an old odor to it. Um, and it says danger, flammable, harmful, fatal if swallowed. Um, so don't, don't put this on your sandwich. Um, no, no salad dressing, don't use that. Liquid leaf, but I love it. And this color is called classic gold. And it's so much easier than just putting actual gold leaf on it. Um, it's actual like a paint. So I shake it up, make sure the lid is closed. I've done that once or twice. So I won't open it yet because it doesn't really smell great. I have a designated brush to put this on. Um, I only use this one because it kind of stains the tip and you can't get it off. So I decided that this is the brush that I will use for liquid leaf. So let's apply it. This is the fun part, I like this part. So you can apply it anywhere. I start the very top. See how nice it goes on. It goes on really, really nice. And it dries super, super fast. Um, I try to put this on really quick because I don't like the smell of it.
the most cutest shell ever. I'm trying not to touch it and show you, but it's really adorable. I mean, I love these. Um, I make jewelry as well. So sometimes when I have a show, I like to display my, my jewelry in them, next to them. And of course, these are for sale too. Um, I think this is really cute. Plus, the back of the shell is really nice. All right. There you have it. Easy, right? Isn't it so pretty? So I have tons of new projects to show you. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know what I will do next, but it will be fabulous. Um, this is really pretty. It will be fabulous. Um, so just make sure to hit the subscribe button, Art by E, and I will see you soon. Thank you.